Well, we're looking at day three. I started this morning probably three hours ago. Um, into the hemi teardown. I've got this baby. Got the heads are loose, ready to come off. I'll give you the visual before I rip them off. And then uh, this will be the truth telling moment to see what the actual problem is with the motor. At the end of the last video, I, uh, I think the valve covers and all, I think I was only into the, for the intake. So I got the water pump timing cover, um, harmonic balancer, Valve covers, I've got all the head bolts off, I've got all the rocker arms out, push rods out. Um, so anyways, the code was that cylinder number three, which is going to be that one right there, was throwing a misfire. So, as uh, I will yank those heads off there now, I believe I'm ready to pull them off, shouldn't be anything holding me up. Oh, got the exhaust loose. Um, you know, it's a pretty good chore. This is a pretty good chore. I've been doing it for uh, just around six, seven hours. So, not bad for the amount of work it is. It's a lot of work. Big pile of parts. That's, uh, you know, big pile of parts. Piles, piles, piles of parts. So, let me, uh, let me pull the heads, and hopefully today we won't get a text on the phone that knocks it out of the video mode, and I'll uh, be right back with you, show you what the insides look like. Okay, here we go. You're seeing it as I see it. This is my first time pulling these out. God dang it. These are the lifter cradles. Kind of hold the lifter. Didn't hold on to them very well, though. Um, okay. One lifter doesn't look bad. Still rolls nice. Replacing. Um, another lifter. Doesn't look bad. Got plenty of oil, it looks like. Replacing. Okay. Ah, okay. Here, here's a bad lifter. That wheel does not roll. That thing is locked up tight. If you look at it, let me wipe it off here. If you look at it, you can probably notice Look at that tip of that roller. That thing is. Well, you know what? This is exactly what I wanted to see. If I didn't see any problems with the lifters, I was going to have a flip the fuck out moment in my life. But this is, I mean, it's bad. This is a bad thing, but it's good because <laughs> I know I'm doing the right thing here. All right, well, there is one wasted lifter, which is going to result in the cam down in that hole. I don't know if you can look down there and see that, but the cam is probably looking something like that or worse. Okay, lifter comes out. It's getting replaced. Let's check the one that was next to it in the same, same one. Oh, the one next to it? Perfect. Still rolls. No problem. One bad lifter so far. Here's the next cradle. Of course, the cradle came out. Lifters did not. You know, if you look at those lifters, though, I don't know if you. God, it's kind of hard to see in there. But you see, you can see the needle bearings off to one side. 
look at this. It's hard to look at it through the video. And that lifter is, you know, it's kind of showing some wear. Let's wipe it off. If you look at that lifter, see how it's got those marks on it? rocks back and forth quite a bit it was probably not far off from failing that lifter also I mean, it still rolls nice but hundred and thirty hundred just under a hundred forty thousand miles on this motor this lifter is good um, lots of oil you know I was I was always told it's an oiling issue. So I have all these YouTube videos say it's an oiling issue. It doesn't appear to be like lacking oil. Right, another lifter here. This one looks really good. No crazy word spots on it. Rolls really nice. And the last one for this side. Looks good. Looks good. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lifters. One of them wasted. The other one, one other one looked possibly like it was gonna fail. Possibly. Oh, look at this side. This side, they're coming out with the cradle. No way. Oh, the cradle came off. All that's getting replaced. This one's got some odd wear marks on it, too. See those wear marks? So, who knows? I mean, it spins nice and free, but who knows how much longer the life was left on it. Um, this one's good. I mean, this side should be all good. It was only throwing. There's definitely no lack of oil. I mean, look at how much oil is on that thing. Lack of oil did not cause the lifter failure. Poor quality product is what I'm going to fucking blame it on. Um, you know, that roller. Those needle bearings, whatever. Something give up. And it looked like it was maybe the bearings that gave up. Okay, last one. Ah, the cradle came right off. Cradles. I mean, after those are probably these are probably stock. I would imagine this has never been apart. Definitely no shortage of oil very oily which is a good thing also the heads look really good too um, not seeing any issue with the heads I'm really glad to see all this oil in there and this one's showing some some wear marks on it you know Hmm. But I'm not going to blame it on the poor oiling. Look at all that oil. I mean, there's no shortage of oil in getting there. The lifter itself is oily. The bearings are full of oil. So. Whew. Okay. Uh, next thing going to be. Set it for top dead center. Set my timing marks up. There's two timing marks that are going to come up. They're going to be right here. The keyway will be at 2 o'clock. That'll make sure the timing mark I can't see behind the oil pump is on top dead center. Number one cylinder will be right here at the top, which it's not.
it's just uh that's not rust it kind of kind of looks like rust and i thought it was rust but it's a uh, aluminum desert rust it's aluminum aluminum pistons what it is is the uh carbon there's carbon build up on there you can see it there there's carbon build up that's not rust that's the antifreeze it's got orange antifreeze in it the orange orange antifreeze but anyways these cylinders everything looks really nice in the cylinders there's no lip there's no no scoring on the cylinders inside the motor is looking pretty good I am going to pull I am going to remove this this is like a there's some sort of a screen in here it's just oil pressure something or other I can't think of the name of it right now but recommended that I pull that look for metal in the screen hopefully there's no metal I don't think there will be because the I didn't drive this very long after I started hearing the ticking the day it started ticking really bad I drove it the rest of the way to work and home so less than a hundred so anyways I will stop there and uh, we'll have another we'll have I'll show you the cam once I get the cam out I'll be back in a little bit